another very successful bait for catching hound sharks is chocker, especially the chocker head. I'm just going to show you a very basic trace that I use for targeting um, our smoothies at night time preferably. Again, one mil nylon, soft supple line would be great but a hard line does work if you're fishing in amongst the rocks. Um, for what we're doing, I want a softer line just because I'm floating my bait. Your sinker with a sinker clip, I want to throw far. Latex cotton, nano suey hook, a three-way combo swivel, and it's very important you get one of the strongest ones you can, which would be our normal power swivel one, two to three. Night light, our foam, and of course a very sharp knife. Start off. Let's just get the nylon part of it done. The nylon part is going to be about 60 centimeters in length, the actual trace. It's going to be a fixed trace. And the reason we don't use a running trace is your sinker nine times out of ten gets stuck in the actual uh, reef. If you're fishing over sand, a running trace is definitely preferable. Let's just quickly do this. Nothing fancy about the knots. We'll make it. There we go. Getting off all the little tag ends quickly that I don't want. That'll be about right. One, two, three. There we go, I'm just going to go undercover just to pull my knot tight. Okay. With this, my end of my actual um, foam goes way past the eye of the hook. Okay, so for this particular bait. And it's quite a long bait. So I'm using the head, like I said, and a lot of the guts of the actual chocker. Second one, just give it a little bit more flotation. When we get over to the top part, I just snip that off because I don't need it to be that long. Because I put a lot of cotton on there. Come to the end, over under, over under, over under. Now what I'm doing is just taking the glow stick and that's it there, breaking it. And you're not going to see it too well because there's too much light around. Just want to quickly get it going, so I'm just going to step out. quickest easiest way to activate it take that and stick it on the top just behind the R and we just take our cotton and just as we add the foam we tie a glow stick on and you'll see the glow stick just finishes just at the back just there where the end of the cotton is and we put a lot of cotton on to keep it in place go. Let's be about it. Okay, tie it off. Now let's just do the hook part of it and we use a lot lighter hook snooting 
So what I'm going to use here is about 20 kilo hook snoot, sinker snoot, sorry guys. Using 20 kilo sinker snoot. And the reason I'm using 20 kilo is so if the sinker does get caught in the rocks, it will break off. Quickly measure the length of it, and that's where we want it to be. So we just cut off that part of it. Okay. This is a clipping bait, so we're going to try and make it as aerodynamic as possible. I just want to check and see if my length is right. My length is perfect. There we go. Okay. Take our chocker. We're cutting down the backbone again. And depending on the size of my actual bait that I'm looking for, I'm cutting a piece just to suit it. Okay, that should be about right. Chocker hammer. Again, with the big, thick, heavy duty side. Okay, we put it that the actual flesh is facing up. Take off the skin. Sorry, the flesh is actually facing down, the hard skin is actually facing up. So what we do is we actually hit it. We're going to hit it until it's, again, very, very soft. Okay. Now you can see it's almost doubled in size. We take our hook and we insert it on the far right hand side corner. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to try and wrap it around as best as we can. So that the flesh actually sits outwards and around. And we're going to cut off any pieces that are excess. Okay, that part on the top there is not the best, so I'm just going to cut it. Just trimming it down a bit. Because I don't want it to cover too much of the actual hook area. Okay. So there it is there. We then take our head. And there's the stomach part. All the juices are in there. And I like to split it down the center at an angle. There's the long tentacle part. There's the softer tentacle part. Okay. So there's one eye on the side. I'm just tying it up. Making that eye bulge out quite a bit there. As you can see. This part has got all the blood, all well, the blood, all the smell in that end, the ink sack is there. This gets a little bit more difficult to do, so I'm just going to stand back a bit. Get using the hard side of the actual chocker hammer, lightly tapping it. Just to get all of that ink going. That goes on and around and under. So now we've got all that ink on the right hand side and we just lightly bind that up. We then take the second side and again I'm just going to lightly hit it 
and the tentacles on this side are that. I'm just going to lightly tap. It's just going to give more movement in the water. That's all that's going to do. Now you're starting to do what I want you to do. Do this. Let's just see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so basically, what we've got is you've got the glow stick shining, shining through on the top part of it, giving off a light. You've got both eyes on either side. You've got the tentacles. You've got the ink sac at the bottom that's going to disperse this big plume of ink into the water and smell into the water. And as it disappears, the light from the glow stick is going to shine through and hopefully you'll get a bite very quickly. And again, just to clip it, it's going to go like this. And it is a long trace. These tentacles are going to fly back over here, like that. And this in the water is going to sit and float up in the water column. It's going to basically look like a cuttlefish if you want to call it that. It's got the same profile as a cuttlefish, very stocky body, very small tentacles, a lot of smell coming off of them and that's pretty much what we're trying to imitate is a cuttlefish in the water. And there it is guys, good to go. A hound shark cherry.